Darksville town was a calm and warm place. But sometimes towns change, and this was the case. One night occurred the strangest thing so far. On Darksville landed a fallen star. The townspeople saw this, and their surprise was big. Inside the fallen star was a demon baby named Sid. He was special, not like the average kid, with a creepy look and always chaos amid. Each year that passed, he showed without rest that his demon nature was on manifest. Mischievous, chaotic, always causing pain, the problems of others for him were a game. He grew with time, and something I can say is that when evil starts, only evil will stay. Here is when Sid's adventure starts to extend. But just keep in mind, he doesn't have a happy end. Another wonderful night to be a demon, isn't it, Mr. Buttons? Oh, I agree. Now let's see what's on the agenda of evil tonight. Let's see... Here it is, Wednesday the 7th. Sneak up on the Heymanson's daughter and cut her braid. Check. Already did that last week. Doubt it's grown back. Create an army of giant mutant chickens to terrorize the farm. Eh, that one didn't quite work out last time. The villagers managed to kill all the chickens and use the excess meat to feed the kids at the orphanage. Hungry little bastards. So let's just skip that until I perfect a non-edible cyborg chicken or something. Make Miss Barbara's pies go sour. Mmm, better not. I'm starting to think that old bat's developed a taste for sour pies. I swear she's playing me. Feed laxative laced bird seed to the local pigeons so they wreak havoc on town. All right, yeah, that one sounds pretty great. Surrender, Sid. Your nights of evilness are over. What's that? Sounds like Dan Teapot yelling at my door again. This time it is over. For realsies. There's no escape from this one. None of your tricks will save you. No more Sid the Demon terrorizing the town. Yep, that's Dan. I'd better get rid of him quickly. Who knows what annoyances that nagging insect is cooking up. What? You want to stay in the bedroom? He wants to stay in the bedroom. The lid is screwed to the clock. I can't open it with my bare hands. Nothing here seems useful. A gentleman has no class if he doesn't have his cane. The door is locked. Luckily for me, I'm not in a hurry to use the bathroom. 
I've already read this book. Twice. I think I need to let it stew a little before I go in for round three. I used to store all sorts of useful gadgets and inventions in here. Nonetheless, the only thing I found inside that is not broken or useless is this multi-bit screwdriver. With no bits at all. It's my lovely fish, Domingo. He knows how to do some cool tricks, like act like a fish or splash, but usually it's super ineffective. It's broken. The tires are flat and everything else is rusty. To the inventory you go. It's screwed to the bicycle. No one knows when you're going to need to coat with this crazy weather. Even if- And full of holes. And stinks. Don't try anything funny, demon. Today your evil existence ends. You are not going out. I will trap you inside your castle. Did you notice that you're blocking the entrance to my castle? I know. It's a part of my brilliant plan to end your demonic deeds. How many times have we been through this? 146 times. 147 if we count the time you dressed as a girl in order to seduce a giant monkey to turn it against me. Lady Danina and I are not the same person. She is a long lost, charming, absolutely female cousin. You don't have any uncles or aunts. Exactly. That's why she was lost in the first place. Isn't it a little past your bedtime, Danny boy? First of all, it's never too late for me. I am the relentless protector of Darkestville. It's 11 p.m. 11 p.m. already? On a Wednesday? Oh, gosh. Well, maybe it's a little late, but I'm on a mission, so I will stay. No matter what. Why don't you go away? I have diabolical schemes to follow. Heh, <laughs> forget it. Your nights of evil deeds are over. You're not leaving this place. Nuh uh. Leave this place before I hurt you in vague but unpleasant ways. You can't hurt me. You're locked inside your castle. You do realize that you're standing on a big trap door with an X on it. <laughs> do you take me for a fool? I already sabotaged the trap door mechanism and locked the basement door. And you can't repair it. Give me the basement key. No. Oh, come on, open that door. Nuh -uh. No way. Tonight your villainous legacy ends. Which key did you use to lock the basement door? This one. Thanks. Hey, that was my key. Ah, I don't care. You can't fix the mechs I made down there anyway. This trap door is still useless. Let's see about that. Do you have the missing part of the trap door mechanism? I will not fall for that again. Today is your end. You are not leaving this place. What is your plan? Starve me to death? Because I have plenty of food here. I'm not telling you. Ah, forget it. You will never leave this castle again. I should be more careful where I leave my tools. I'm happy to have the key to my bathroom. It would be terrible to be locked at home without the bathroom available. The mechanism is simple. Someone steps over the trap door, I activate the trap door lever, and the dope falls through a system of pipes to end up in this jail. Dan Teapot has vandalized the door mechanism. The chain and some cogs are missing. Dan Teapot has... 
It's empty. I think Dan stole my sandwich. Jackass. Now I have a fully functional screwdriver. The chain fits, but it's going to need some lubricant. It's way too rusty as is. Come to me, my instrument of eternal terror. I'd rather not open it. The giant rat could escape and bite me. It's glued shut and I can't pry it open. Maybe if I had some kind of abrasive substance or another. It's full of oil. See, I was expecting this shipment of penguins that I planned on oiling up and releasing back into the wild, but they never showed up. Now it's properly lubed. Heh, <laughs> lube. It's stuck with something at the bottom of the bathtub. Now I can wash my hands properly. Don't worry, it was already broken. I hope I didn't just void the warranty on this thing. Perfect. Presto. Hey, Dan, let me out. Ha! You'll never be able to. Ah! Hi, Dan. Would you care to explain this whole trapping me in my castle business now? Ha ha! You think you've defeated me, but I've won. Fascinating. I find your claims tenuous at best coming from inside of a jail cell. I have delayed you enough here. They are already in town. There's no escape now. Who are they, and why would I want to escape from them? Have you been sneaking mushrooms out of my gardens again? I told you those are for my alchemical experiments. You don't get it, do you? Nope. No idea what you're talking about. I've hired the Romero brothers. The most infamous demon hunters alive are coming for you. They've long been here by now. There is truly no escape for you. They'll track and hunt you down. They are the best of the best. I've kept you from getting a head start on fleeing. Like I said, I win. You're done. Oh, come on, you moron. Don't you realize that it's the villain who's supposed to give their whole plan away with overly detailed monologues? You've gone and messed up our whole dynamic. You don't get it? The Romero brothers are the best, and they will never... Silence truly is golden. Now then, let's analyze this little situation I've found myself in. A team of demon hunters are, well, hunting me. It's kind of flattering that the so-called best of the best are after me, oh my. Well, if these Romero brothers want a war, then I'm going on the offensive. I'll need to go downtown to check them out. And give them a warm welcome to Darkest Hill. Mwahahaha! But, uh, I should probably quit wasting time with maniacal laughter and get going. I've got a lot of work to do after all. So I'll make a neutron bomb and hide it inside a cheesecake. No, 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 no. That's really impractical. I don't have enough cheese.
Good evening, little fellow. Is that Darkestville Castle? What? What kind of question is that? You're in Darkestville and that's the only castle. Now, please mind your own business. I'm really busy right now. Okay, team. You hear the man. The demon should be trapped inside. Let's do our job. To the hunt! What was I saying? Ah, yes. So let's discard the neutron bomb cheesecake. What about a neutron bomb inside an apple pie? What am I thinking? With that giant rat inside the kitchen, I can't bake anything. Okay. All the plans involving cooking are null. Man, that's like half my repertoire. The job is done, sir. That demon is now inside our prison chest. It won't be bothering you again. We received your payment in the last letter, so I think that's all. Goodbye, and thank you for hiring the Romero brothers. Wait, what? The Romero brothers? They didn't recognize me! <laughs> oh, once again, my wit and... Wait a minute. My castle! What were they doing there? Domingo! They took him away! My lovely fish, Domingo! No one messes with you! Now this is personal! I don't remember throwing this at a dumpster. An iron rod. And an almost eaten biology book. Mr. Buttons will have to give me a good explanation about this. Maintaining a mushroom garden in good shape is harder than you would expect, but gardening is one of my favorite activities. Besides ruining other people's lives, of course. Don't be silly. It's not harvesting season yet. Those mushrooms are still green. It's a statue of the founder of the town. I made an artistic intervention on it. He looks much cooler now. I can't reach it. In this bench, I deployed a trap. The problem is, I don't recall what kind of trap it was. Hello, I'm Sid the demon of Darkestville. Different bad suckers not drunk enough to know who you are, Sid. I've known you since you were five. Remember that time when you were chasing the town kids with your little flamethrower and you ended up crying because it ran out of fuel? Yeah, but someone gave me his alcohol so I could have fun with my flamethrower again. Oh, well, that's something any decent person would have done. You were so small and you looked so sad. Hey, you remember that time when you were zapping people with a big blue laser gun? Everyone was running so scared. I remember it as if it were yesterday. In fact, it was yesterday. Really? Some things never change. What are you drinking? Oh, this. It's glue solvent. It may not be as good as an old red wine, but it's not that bad. What does it taste like? Awful, but it's still better than water. Can I have some of your blue solvent? Nuh uh. If I give it to you, then what will I drink? Why do you always want random items from other people? Are you still turning into a giant purple monster every time you sneeze? Nope. Luckily, the side effects of that thing you gave me to drink faded away. But hey, if you have any more of those flasks, just keep sending them over. That thing was delicious. Goodbye. 
Goodbye, champ. This plant looks like it's made out of rubber. Hi! Who goes there? Let me introduce myself. I'm Sid, a fine citizen of Darkestville. Nice to meet you, sir. I'm Martin Hawkeye from West Spring. So, you're a local, right? Yes. Well, then let me congratulate you. Darkestville is a lovely place. Really? Yeah. The air's so fresh and the climate is perfect. I guess you're right. That reminds me, I have to keep working on that weather machine. What is your business in Darkestville? I came here to explore the natural wonders of this lovely town. I'm on vacation. A tourist in Darkestville. Well, that's something new. We don't have many attractions, you know. I don't care about that. As long as the people are friendly and the drinks are cheap, I'm good to go. The good thing about being a blind tourist is that you don't even have to worry about the view when choosing a room. I never thought about the benefits of being blind. Hmm. Mental note. Return the sight of little Timothy. I notice you haven't touched your drink. Yeah, this mojito is kind of lame. The mint they used is really old. It's almost tasteless. If you're not going to drink it, may I have it? Nah, I'm gonna drink it. Eventually. Besides, even if the drink isn't good, at least I look cool with a drink in my hand, right? No, but then again, you are too blind to notice it. <laughs> you got me there. May I have your drink? No. Where are you staying? At the tavern guest room. But the tavern doesn't have any guest rooms. In fact, there are no hotels in Darkestville. Maybe it's something new. It was a really small room, but at least it was clean. Were you passing by the tavern kitchen? Yes. That is the cleaning cupboard. That would explain the bleachy smell. I can't complain. The price was really low, and it included breakfast. What are you doing on the street at this time of the night? I went outside the tavern for some fresh air. Why do you ask? Are the streets of Darkestville dangerous? Mm, no, not really. Sadly, the giant mutant chickens are gone. But probably next week, the streets will be dangerous again. There's a shipment of winged tigers on the way. Thanks for the advice. I have other matters to attend to. See you soon! Hello? So you are one of the Romero brothers? Yes, I'm Walrus, the muscle of the Romero brothers. And your name is... Dan Teapot, right? Oh, it was a pleasure to work for you, sir. You don't find many customers that pay full in advance by mail these days. How did you recognize me? Because I'm totally Dan Teapot. It was easy to figure it out. In your letter, you wrote that you'd be waiting for us outside the castle to help secure the target. Between you and me, I think that putting the demon inside a fish tank was kind of too much. It made everything too easy for us. Where is that demon you recently captured? We put all the demons we catch inside our demon chest. There they are imprisoned forever in some kind of an alternate dimension or something. I don't get much of that technical stuff. But don't worry, he cannot escape. What if he has some kind of super genius and handsome friend outside trying to help him out? Oh, don't worry. Our sister Foxy already thought about that. The chest requires three keys to open, and each of us only has one key. So it's impossible to open the demon chest without our authorization. Unless... Unless... Unless, of course, someone stole each of our keys. But, then again, we are the best demon hunters. No one would ever dare to try that. Except... Except... Except some kind of idiotic moron with absolutely zero conscience about the consequences of his actions. But, then again, we shouldn't worry about that. If there is such an idiot, we will crush him. 
Yeah, we uh, don't have to worry about that. I would love to see that mysterious key you have. Sorry, but I will only take it out if the rest of the group has to open the chest. Where's the rest of the team? I'm not sure. I think Foxy is talking with the mayor. And Mongoose must be training somewhere. That lad never rests. Goodbye. I have other matters to attend to. It was a pleasure to talk with you, sir. Hello. Hi. So, how's the business going? It certainly is not going good, thanks to Dennis and demons like you. Yeah, I'll pay you, but thanks. I appreciate you mistrusting me. I would like to place an order. Look, if you want to order something, you'd better pay your debt first. And I recommend you do it pronto. How much do I owe you? It's two silver coins for the pint of beer, 200 gold coins for the six barrels of ethanol. And don't worry about the matches, they were on the house. Do you accept evil card? You know how this works, Sid. Cash only. I don't have the money with me right now. You don't have any more credit here until you pay me. And it would be better for your health if you did it soon. Do you know anything about that stranger over there? You know my policy. I don't like gossip. I don't make questions. As long as you're my customer, I don't care what you do or who you are. I'd better go and get some fresh air outside. See you soon. I think the tavern keeper will not mind if I take some of them. I don't want to carry that around. Good evening, Mrs. Johnson. Good evening, Sid. May I talk with the mayor? Do you have an appointment? Mmm, yep. Oh, really? Let me check that in the mayor's agenda. No, you haven't. You know, Sid, today was a really long day. Why don't you go play your pranks on someone else? My pranks? My pranks? Please don't insult me, woman. I don't play pranks. I do evil deeds of demonic proportions. Oh, I didn't mean to insult you, honey. But could you go to do your things outside? I heard that Mr. Martinez got a brand new doorbell. I hope no one goes to play Ding Dong Ditch at him. Ding Dong Ditch? Are you suggesting that I use my evil genius to play that childish game? What is that big chest doing inside the mayor's house? It's from the three strangers that arrived in town today. They are called the Ramiro brothers. I hear they are demon hunters. If I were you, I would be hiding until they go. What is the mayor doing? He is talking with one of the Ramiro brothers. A woman. I think her name was Foxy. What a name. And why do they call themselves the Ramiro brothers if there is a woman in the group? It should be the Ramiro siblings. I don't know. Maybe it's a marketing thing? I don't know. Maybe. Good night, Mrs. Johnson. We'll talk later. Good night, my dear. Inside that chest is trapped my lovely fish, Domingo. The chest is locked with three locks. I have to find a way to open it. The idea is great, but Mrs. Johnson will kill me if she sees me. Ah! <laughs> 
Once again, I've struck terror into the heart of the people of Darkestville. You want to kill me from a heart attack? Give me that thing, and don't you ever dare do that again. Who would have believed that Darkestville Castle had a political agenda? The cabinet was depleted for redecoration. Oh, wait a minute. They forgot this bottle of 25-year-old whiskey. Interesting. The door is locked. Here, Mrs. Johnson keeps the mayor's daily schedule. Wow, this is one of the finest 25-year-old whiskeys ever made. My glue solvent tasted like poison in comparison to this. Thanks. Presto! That glue solvent works really quickly. I thought I had my homemade medicine inside. Now that I think about it, that's probably what glued the cabinet door on in the first place. Things made with evil goo are so hard to manage. All the anecdotes that contain, and then I went for the sleeping pills, are good ones. Extra soft, silk textured, mint scented toilet paper. Extra soft, silk textured, mint scented toilet paper. What is it? It's our special Darkestville Mint. Just smell the minty scent. Cool! That'll surely enhance my mojito. Let me try it. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, now it's much better. Mm. That was a pretty good taste. And the texture was good, too. It was extra soft. Premium quality. Only the best of the best. Thanks. May I return the glass to the tavern for you? Yeah, sure. Why not? Thank you again. Presto! A great idea. This thing has a lot of potential.
Wanna give this a try? What is it? It's our special local beer. Let me try it! Mm. Mm. Ah. This beer is too soft. It tastes almost like water. I think... Let's see what we can find in his pockets. Ah, here it is. One of the keys of the demon chest. One step closer to freeing Domingo. It is Walrus's lucky charm. It didn't bring him that much luck, did it? That darn dog is guarding his neighborhood. If I walk past his house, he will bite me. Or shoot me. I can't reach the handle. It's too tall. Presto! It fits perfectly! This is Ruffo's house. The villagers made this doghouse out of spare parts of my discarded inventions. Ha! In your face, dog! Are you barking? Sorry, I can't hear you. Ah, victory is so sweet. Now that I think about it, why did I want to come here in the first place? It's a red mailbox. I'll take the giant mutant chicken leg. It'll be handy if I need to scratch my back. What? You don't want me to take it? I'll just take a few. Okay, just two, okay? A wide variety of hot dog sauces. Hi. Hello, Sid. How's the evil doing going? Ah, uh, tonight is kind of a tough night. Dan Teapot called some demon hunters. Demon hunters? I don't like them. They never buy anything. Good luck fighting them. Pedro, how is business going? Unbelievable! Is that bad or good? Bad. I ran out of my special marinara sauce. I have to replace it with the new clam ink sauce, but no one likes it. It looks like regular ink. Because that's what it is. What about your other sauces? They're just props to give the impression of variety. Neat trick, isn't it? I know, I know, I'm a genius. You don't have to say it. I am a marketing devil. Can you give me some of that ink sauce? I need it for my hot dogs, you'll see. A hot dog without any sauce isn't the same, but let's do something. I will give you all of it if you help me do some marinara sauce. What do you need to make marinara sauce? I need something with a special touch of sophistication. Like what exactly? I don't know, something that stinks the right way. Don't you have one of your special promotions? Yes! When you buy your hot dog, you get up to two free diseases. That sounds terrible. Can I at least choose them? No, they're random. But that's part of the fun. Goodbye. See you later. And remember, we are open all night. It's full of holes and stinks. I wonder why I haven't burnt the thing already. <laughs> Hey, that's exactly what I was looking for to make my marinara sauce. It smells perfectly. But please keep the secret. I don't want people to start copying my secret sauce. May I have your clam ink sauce now? Of course, I don't need it anymore. 
Awesome. It looks like some kind of insomniac pigeon. I can't use the cane with that. I can't reach it. Take it, birdie birdie. Ah, uh, now I recall. I put an explosive charge on this bench. Well, those third degree burns will teach that pigeon not to accept gifts from strangers. Eh, why not? Two million more of those and I can make myself a new pillow. Great. Now I have a quill and ink. It was a lot of creative work, but now the mayor has a much better agenda. Not only does he have an appointment with me, but by next Saturday we will declare war with three different countries. I used all the ink, so I'll discard the quill. I don't think I'm going to need it anymore anyway. I will leave this here. Hey, you found it. Thank you, dear. I was looking for this agenda all this time. Good evening, Mrs. Johnson. Good evening, Sid. I have an appointment with the mayor right now. Oh, really? Let me check that. Oh, it's true. And according to this is indeed right now. Well, I will inform the mayor about it. Give me a minute, my dear. Mr. Mayor? Yes. I have someone here waiting to talk with you. Yes, he has an appointment. For right now. It's marked as urgent. OK, I will tell him. Hello. I would g get out. I, I'm expecting someone important, but I... Get out! I'll talk with you later. Hello? Hi, Dan, right? Dan Teapot? Apparently. And you are? I'm Foxy. Foxy Romero? I replied to your letters about hiring us. Ah, oh, yes, yes, of course. Why are you at the mayor's house? I was presenting our papers to the local authorities. We don't want any trouble with the law. And the rest of the team? Walrus is at the tavern, and Mongoose is training at the cemetery. So, hypothetically, since you're all scattered, if someone wanted to attack your team, this would be the best moment, right? I guess. So, to open that chest, you need three keys, right? May I see one? Sorry, but I cannot show you my key. It is part of our code of conduct. If the key falls in the wrong hands, it could cause a lot of trouble. How much trouble? Just imagine if someone released all the demons that are inside the chest into a little town like this. Yes! Just imagine if all those demons became the servants of their savior. And he became the Demon King. And with his new demonic army, he conquers the world! Nyahaha! What? Nothing, nothing. I have other matters to attend to. 
Talk to you later. Goodbye, Dan. It looks like Walrus's lucky charm. He never goes out without it. Where did you find this? Um... Outside the tavern? Maybe you should go out and investigate about it. Don't worry about your stuff. I'll watch over it. I cannot leave the chest. I will wait for Mongoose to come here before going to investigate. I hope everything is okay. I have more important matters to attend to. I don't have time to just stare at mud, but somehow I find it relaxing. People used to stumble on the route below and fall through the crypt stairs, so the cemetery administrator decided to build this wooden ramp. People still fall through the crypt stairs, but only on the days I wax the ramp. It's the cemetery crypt. It's too dark to see inside there, and the crypt ladder steps are too tall. Which is a terrible combination. Or a perfect combination if you're planning to throw someone through the ladder. Hello! Who goes there? Oh, it is you. Dan Teapot, right? Yeah, yeah, you are totally right. I'm him. I mean, it's me, Dan. And you are? I'm Mongoose Romero, the lightning of the Romero brothers. What are you doing in the middle of the night at the cemetery? Me. Training, of course. We must always be ready for battle. You never know when you're going to find a ghost, a demon, or worse, it could be the Big Pie Raptor. The Big Pie Raptor? Where? Oh, so you've never heard of him. The Big Pie Raptor is a maniacal purple velociraptor that throws apple pies at unsuspecting people. It doesn't sound that threatening. <laughs> You say that now, my lad, but if one night you're all alone in a dark alley, and you perceive a shadowy reptilian figure running, and the foul stench of apple pie infects the air, you'd better not come crying to me. But... I understand you. I was once like you, a reckless young man. I also didn't believe in the big pie raptor, until that sad night. I remember it as if it were yesterday. I was going to a dance party with my brand new white suit. When I saw him, it was already too late. I already had three apple pies all over me. I tried all kinds of stain removers, but nothing worked. But one day, one day I will have my revenge. Sweet, sweet revenge. Whatever you say, Bob. Just calm down. Your friends told me you could lend me the chest key you have. There must be a misunderstanding. We are not allowed to give our keys to anyone. I'm pretty sure they... Misunderstanding. Okay. Hey, look! It's the big pie raptor! Where? Where? It's hiding inside the crypt! I just saw it! At last! You are cornered, you filthy apple pie carrying animal! Wait. Wait a minute. I've already been through this a couple of times. Walrus probably told you to tell me so that he can laugh at my disappointed face. I will not fall for that again. But I just saw it! Oh yeah? Do you have a photo, footprints, a piece of pie, or something else to prove it? No, not really. Then tell Walrus I'll not fall for that this time. I have other matters to attend to. Goodbye, and stay vigilant. Maybe I can take a bone, but forget about the skulls. They could bite me. Huh? 
I will mark some footprints with this chicken leg. Yeah. Just hang in there. This could take some time. Presto! The chicken leg is all muddy now. I'd better discard it. Uh -huh. ha! <laughs> I only have to wait until someone walks over it. Hello! What's up, Dan? Hurry! I just saw the big pie raptor! Look at his footprints! Sorry, pal, but I will not fall for... Oh my goodness! It is true! They are pointing directly to the crypt! At last, I have you cornered, you apple-scented scum! I'm truly a master of deception. <laughs> I saw it first. I found a key inside this wallet. Ah, this wallet has no money. What a shame. Where did you find this? This is Mongoose's wallet. Oh, that. Well, I found it in the cemetery. I hope nothing happened to your friend. If I were you, I would go and investigate it. Don't worry about your stuff. I'll watch over it. You are right. Something fishy is going on. I better go investigate it. Dan, this is very important. I need you to watch over my stuff. And please don't let anyone manipulate the demon chest while I'm out. Do you understand me? This is very important. Yep. Absolutely. You should not worry at all. You are doing the right thing. Goodbye. See you soon. Take your time. Of course I'm going to watch over your stuff. Oh, I can be so charming at times. Now I better act quickly before she returns. Let's see what we've got here. Papers, 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 and... Here it is! The last key I needed to open the chest. Don't worry, Domingo. I'm here. You're almost out. Just give me a minute to... Domingo! Here you are, buddy. I missed you. Don't worry. I'm here and everything is going to be all right from now on. Um, who are they? Oh, we are the demons of the fifth hell. I'm King Vigo, young one. Now, can you tell me where we are? Sure, let me introduce myself. I'm Sid, the demon of Darkestville. And you are now in Darkestville. Darkestville, eh? All right, boys. Now that we're free again, let's go have some fun. We're going to take Darkestville for ourselves and show those pesky humans who's in charge. Hey, but I've released you. You should be following my orders. <laughs> oh, 
Ah, nice joke, kiddo. Thanks for releasing us. I like your attitude, but I'm King Vigo. I don't follow orders. Now, let's move forward. This town isn't going to pillage itself. But... Hmm. Who would have thought that demons would be a bunch of ungrateful scoundrels? Well, the important thing is that you're all right, Domingo. Now let's go home so I can build you a new fish tank. Come on, Domingo. Follow me. Here, boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. You're pretty smart for a fish. Don't worry. I will make a brand new fish tank for you. You will love it. I'll even build a machine gun on top of it so no one can ever bother you again. Come on, buddy. Just a little bit more. You're pretty fast for a giant fish out of water. That's weird. I don't recall leaving the castle door closed. Who goes there? Oh, it's you. Get off my lawn. What? What? Y your lawn? What are you doing inside my castle? Get out of here. So this was your castle? Was? It is my castle. Now open up that door. Nope. Open that door or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow the castle in. I don't think so. You don't even have a real mouth. Hey, that was offensive. Thank you. I'll sue you. Do as you wish. I have hordes of undead lawyers under my control. I hope no one just opens the castle door. Well, then you will hate it when I... Hey, wait a minute. Nice try. I almost fell for it. Could you kindly open that door? Nope. Open, 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 open. No, 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 no. Open, 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 open. Look, one of us has to be the mature one. And it isn't going to be me. Open, 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 and open. Oh, in the name of everything that is evil. What annoyance. There must be some way of... Yeah, this should be the lever. Imprisoned in my own trap. The irony. At least Dan Teapot isn't here anymore. I wonder if he escaped. Or if he ended up like Waldo. It's screwed to the wall. Open sesame. I have no idea what I'm doing. And now it's broken. I don't want to be struck on the head by a falling anvil, but I think that if I crouch the right way, it will not hit me. It seems like the anvil got stuck somewhere. Awesome! Now I got free cable. I came down here through this hole. That's a good idea. Great. How convenient that it worked on the first try. Now I only have to climb out. 